Hello children. Today we are going to begin with the poem In the Bazaars of Hyderabad. This poem has been written by Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu was a freedom fighter, scholar and poet. She was the first woman to become the president of Indian National Congress and the first woman to be the governor of Uttar Pradesh. Now she has uh, been I, as i have told you in my previous session that she has been a a very important part of uh, the freedom fight which was uh, held in the time when the britishers were here and the basic reason for her to write this poem was to convey the message uh, to the indian public about buying the products from the indian bazaars from the local bazaars and not from the foreign countries and the foreign uh, companies there let's begin the poem It's a piece. What do you sell, O oh, ye yeah, merchants? Richly your wares are displayed: turbans of crimson and silver, tunics of purple brocade, mirrors with panels of amber, daggers with handles of jade. Now you see rhyming words here also. Let's see the explanation of these lines. The seller is asking the buyer that uh, what do you sell? He's asking the merchant. that uh, sorry the buyer is asking the seller that what do you sell and you have so many wares so many wares what are wares wares are the things which are there for selling so you've displayed those uh, wares all around there in the in your uh, shop or on the racks or wherever he's displayed them and there are turbans of crimson and silver crimson is a kind of a red reddish kind of a color so there are turbans of crimson and silver tunics of purple brocade mirror with panels of amber daggers with handles of jade now what are your turbans turbans are those things that you buy uh, that you wear on your head and generally men uh, men folk they tie it and they are made of red and silver color now what are tunics tunics are uh, long loose fitting garments worn by men and women and uh, they are generally uh, the ones which are displayed are made of purple brocade brocade is a work of embroidery a very heavy work and beautiful thing it is uh, if you get to see a picture of brocade you'll really uh, see the amount of efforts that are being put in while making a material of, uh, with this brocade work and uh, it's a fabric it's a heavy fabric woven with rich raised design now tunics the uh, the clothes the loose clothes that the men and women wear they are also uh, made with uh, brocade embroidery and all brocade work mirror with panels of amber now mirrors have been displayed and panels are the border part of it on which the mirror is set and of amber amber is a deep yellowish color so now you see the different colors in the first para here itself you get to see red silver purple and then you also come across a color of uh, amber which is deep yellow so don't you think it's so bright it's so it's really vibrant colors are visible and daggers with handles of jade what are daggers daggers are small knives with handles they have an handle to hold and of jade the jade is a very precious stone so you have those uh, jade stones the precious stones there embedded on it and it looks very beautiful the, those handles for the knives are very beautifully done then the next buyer goes to some another shop and he asks what do you weigh o oh, ye vendors means what are you weighing what are the measurements that you taking weighing them what do you weigh o oh, ye vendors now who are vendors vendors are people who sell goods saffron and lentils and rice saffron is again uh, these are all eatables that are being talked about San, uh, saffron and lentil and rice these are costly but they are very pure especially in those days they used to be very very pure uh, materials to eat what do you grind o oh, ye maidens now what do you grind if you now these days we have a mixes and all but in the previous uh, those times olden days you had those big stones and then the uh, ladies used to grind on that they used to move around with their hand and they used to grind they used to put in the stuff the seeds inside that and then grind it and then get the powder of it so he is asking 
this buyer is uh, asking that what do you grind oh ye maiden sandalwood henna or sp and spice that's what they told now they are uh, what for do they uh, grind sandalwood well sandalwood gives a powder gives a very good texture to your skin it is very good for with the smell they make lot of things out of it then henna if you must have seen a lot of people apply uh, henna on their hands henna is the mehndi you apply it on your hands then you also apply it in your hair so that gives a different color to your uh, things applied on and of course the spices the 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 full grown uh, spices like you have uh, you must have heard about haldi you must have heard about mirchi jeera these are the things which are called in hindi but these are the spices which are grind the powder is made out of it so further he says what do you call o oh, ye peddlers now peddlers are the people who are taking rounds in your area or they are moving on their foot and selling their products so what do you sell o oh, ye peddlers what do the peddlers say chessmen and ivory dice now they are selling uh, games the chess board games and ivory dice ivory is uh, the tooth of an elephant if you see that white tooth of an elephant it's taken out from there and ivory things are made out of it so chessmen and ivory dice peddlers are basically the hawkers the hawkers means the ones who shout and they sell their products moving around they don't have a fixed shop but the vendors and peddlers they move around and they sell their products okay let's see what happens in the next para what do you make o oh, ye goldsmith wristlet and anklet and ring now who is a goldsmith a goldsmith is a person who makes ornaments out of gold and what is he making he is making a, a wristlet and anklet and ring anklet is worn on the ankle ring is worn on the finger wristlet is again um, on your wrists it is made for that purpose bells for the feet of blue pigeons you have blue pigeons okay bells for the feet of blue pigeons frail as a dragon flies wing Griddles of gold for the dancers, Sca scabbards for uh, scabbards of gold for the king. Now let's pick up every line here. Now the buyer is asking the goldsmith, "What do you make?" And he says, "I make a wristlet, I make an anklet, I make anklets, and I make rings." That is uh, one 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 set of things. Another thing he says is, "I make the bells for the blue pigeons." Now uh, bells for the feet of blue pigeons. we do have blue pigeons and these blue pigeons are a little different from the normal ones that we get to see in our day to day lives they are actually a little medium in size or they are larger and at the same time they have bigger wings and uh, longer tails so they are a little different ones from the normal ones and they are blue in color what happens is uh, it's very small very delicate uh, bells are made to tie around their uh, feet so that you know this this specific uh, is my pigeon it's my pet pigeon and i have tied this little bell and that bell is so delicate that means it's so uh, thin or it's very delicate it can break very easily such a, and if compared it see the comparison has been shown here it is as frail as a dragon's uh, dragon fly's wings if you know what a dragon fly is it's a long kind of an insect with very uh very light wings and it flies the moment you catch it uh, hold it by the wing only uh, the wing falls off it, it tears apart so that's a very delicate kind of a thing and what is being compared here the bells which are made for the pigeon so it's a simile which has been shown here the frail frail as a dragon flies wing this is uh, the word i had mentioned earlier was uh, griddle it's not griddle children it is girdles of gold for the dancers now actually what are girdles girdles are something that they tie around the waist uh, area and uh, that's again something which is an ornament which is made of gold so for the dancers the the people who dance uh, around who's on the stage or they perform something you must have seen certain accessories along with them some ornaments with them and the one which is tied around the waist is also is known as a girdle 
Now, uh, further, he also says that scrabbards of gold for the king. Now, what is a scrabbard? First, a king, a king uses his swords and knives. So, for that, the place in which uh, that is kept inside the sword, which is kept in that case, that is called a protective covering, which in which the swords and knives are kept, are known as scabbards. So, scabbards of gold. The work on that outer covering is also made by the goldsmith and they uh, make it look more beautiful the normal day-to-day -day life things and they are being decorated and made so wonderfully come to the next paragraph what do you cry O oh ye fruit men now here it's not literally they are crying no cry means here they are shouting and telling they are calling the people and he's asking the the poet is ask the poetess is asking the uh, fruit men. That means they're selling fruits. And what kind of fruits are they selling? Now the fruit men he answers this that we have uh, that he has kitrons, pomegranate, and plum. What do you pl okay? Let let me tell you what are um, cit citrons is a fruit like a lemon. It's just like a lemon. And pomegranate uh, the Hindi word is anar. And uh, it's another plum is yet another fruit very tasty and this time we need to have plenty of fruits okay uh, crit, uh, citron pomegranate and plum then the buyer comes across the musicians the beautiful music they could hear what do you play oh musicians sitar sarangi and drum that's what they said oh what do you chant, O oh magicians? Now, chant is a, a repeated, uh, a repeated saying of certain words or phrase, and chant is putting up a kind of a spell, a, a magical spell, magical formula, magical powers being put into certain things. So what do you chant, O oh magicians? Spell spells for the eons to come. Eons is an indefinitely long period of time. Now, uh, spells, spells, children are basically verbal expressions to uh, which has some uh, magical powers in it, right? So, for those long periods of good times to come, the magicians are spelling or they are chanting the those uh, magical words out. Then they come to, what do you weave? Oh, ye yeah, flower girls, weave is. Uh, they with the needle and uh, they are weaving something they're making something weaving is uh, now let's see what exactly they're weaving they're using a needle and a thread and they are uh, putting in those flowers and they're making something let's see what they're making what do you weave oh ye flower girls with tassels of ozer and red now what is an ozer ozer is bright blue color so you get to see the colors again. It's bright blue and red color. Yeah. And tassels. What are tassels? It is a collection of a bunch of those things together. And those uh, different, different, uh, you have the tassel tied in on top and the different strings of those flowers. And uh, they make a beautiful uh, covering for certain things with the flowers. So you have uh, the, the flower girl is saying, that she is making tassels of ozer and red, blue and red, bright blue and red. That I mean, she, the buyers are asking that. Crown for the brow of the bridegroom. Now, crown that means the head part of the uh, bridegroom, where it, the face is covered with flowers. The it's a beautiful decoration with flowers, which is done with the bridegroom. Chaplets to garland his bed. Now, chaplets, again, if you see the meaning is small garlands, means the small neck pieces with those flowers. They are making uh, chaplets to garland his bed. That means to decorate his bed there. Then, at the same time, there are sheets of white blossoms, new gardened. Now, uh, garden, garden here is freshly picked up flowers and there are sheets of white blossom. means white flowers are made and picked up and they are uh, spread in those uh, they are weaved into certain things to perfume the sleep of the dead now this is a sad part for which they, this is used even if you must have seen children um, on the people who are who've died flowers are dropped on it or spread over them so that it gives a good perfume over it 
and uh, it is it uh, this part is a little painful because flowers are also used at the time of uh, decorating a bride groom and at the same time it is also used to uh, to create a layer on top of the dead person to give a good uh, perfume to it when it dies when the person anybody who dies out so both things are related here i hope this beautiful poem has been very clear it has been it has been very uh, colorful throughout and lots and lots of uh, wares things to be sold and bought are present in here thank you